Hello folks, welcome to another screencast. This time I'm going to be discussing just before your exam about writing 20 mark essays for anybody that hasn't been to a lecture where we haven't discussed this because we've been doing it over the revision sessions and absolutely critical because this is quite a lot of your marks. All right, so just some simple tips before we start. Should be pretty obvious to most, but there is a key difference between AS and A2, which I'll come to in a moment. First of all, always read the question carefully. It goes without saying, take a highlighter pen into the exam and highlight all of the key words within every question that you do, not just the essay, because it will keep you along the right track and always keep going back to those highlighted points to make sure you're answering that question which relates to the second part, which is answer all parts of the question. Some people often just answer half of the essay question, and some people answer all of the essay question. But for those that successfully do this, they always relate back to the question. So you must do this at all times. Make a plan. Somebody asked me the other week, uh, what happens if I'm at the end of the time and I haven't got enough time to write an essay? Yes, you can get marks on making your plan. It might not be a lot, but it could be the difference between you getting a C grade and a D grade or anything else that's higher that you wish to get and the difference in you making university and not. So make a plan and when you write your plan, talk about strengths and weaknesses. Bullet it. Don't spend too long on it. Two to three minutes at best. You haven't got enough time otherwise. Now this is the key difference between AS and A2. The examiners are looking for 8 to 10 points. Now that doesn't mean within each point you're going to talk about advantages and disadvantages because otherwise you'd only end up with 5 key points which is much like your IS essay. However, your examiner is requiring that you give more specific knowledge. So therefore by creating 8 structure points you can go in depth a little bit more with each of the points that you're making. Develop each point, well that means, you know, talk about it in depth, define things, give specific examples, analyse things a little bit further. And as we just said, provide specific examples. You cannot get past 12 marks within this essay without giving specific examples and looking to analyse. Okay, so here is an example from uh, sports psychology relating to the field of attitudes. So I want you to read it and have a think to yourself, well, what does each coloured bit mean? And if you need to reread this, then you can just pause it or go back on YouTube. Now, generally speaking, using that as an example, this is the process you need to do for every paragraph that you write within your essay. First of all, make your point and define it. So it's not just any good this year just to say, well, the Aborigines often played Australian rules football. That'd be no good. You need to define what you're talking about. Imagine the examiner does not live in this country, does not live on this earth, and he knows absolutely nothing about nothing. So if you're talking about the ATP PC system, what is it? If you're talking about attitudes and components of attitude, what are they? Define what you mean. Don't spend too long defining it, but do define what you mean. The next stage is to evaluate, whereas in AS it was to give an example, this stage is to evaluate this time. And that means give one advantage or give one disadvantage. Don't give both within a paragraph, otherwise it makes your paragraphs very long. So therefore pick one, or give a strength or weakness, or give a comparison point, or a contrasting point. Follow that evaluation with an example of your evaluation. So if you said to me, uh, my point was discussing the ATP PC system, an advantage of this would be that it's good for quick explosive events. The example of that advantage would be, for example, 100 meter sprint, shot put, etc. And always relate that example to the question. So if it's talking about a bar related question, relate you try and be specific with your example and relate it to the question. Finally, sometimes you may need an impact statement, which means, so what? What are you telling me in your paragraph? What does this all mean? 
Okay, the ATPP system, PC system is great for 100 meter sprints and explosive events. So what? Well, okay, well that will give me an advantage in such short burst duration activities. Here's another example, and this time using the ATP PC system, I'm going to show you how to uh, analyze this through your essay. So again, have a read of this, pause it if you need to. Now you can think about what the colors mean. Um, you should have identified that already. The green section is the definition. The purple section is where I'm starting to evaluate. The yellow section are examples. The red will now be part of an impact statement. So again, pause this and reread it. Comparative studies, for those of you doing comparative studies, this is slightly different, so beware. The start bit is the same, so we're still making our points and defining them. However, the second section is different because you naturally have to compare two countries or two sports within your 20 mark essay. You're already doing the analysing, so, but you must compare one country in comparison with another or one sport in comparison with another if it asks you to. For example, in America, you may be asked to compare baseball with American football. So be careful because it's not always two countries. Same system. You then provide an example of your comparison related to the question and add an impact statement. So it's the same setup pretty much. And here is an example of the comparative studies one. So it's a little bit different. Read it through. Be careful. Okay, a good way to now use this uh, screencast is to find some 20 mark questions. You have them in the pack that you bought at the start of the year, so you have a few. If you need some more, come to the office and we'll help you with a few more. Then practice writing whole paragraphs exactly this way, just one, and then check it through. Am I defining what I'm talking about? Am I evaluating first? Am I then giving a specific example to the evaluation? Am I then adding some sort of impact statement at the end? And can I do that for eight constructive points? It might also be an idea just to plan very quickly the advantages and disadvantages because your advantages and disadvantages in your plan will make up your eight points. Okay. As, as said before, just rerun over this screencast as many times as you like, but do use it. It's really important. This is over 50% of every written paper that you are going to attempt within psychology, comparative studies, historical studies or exercise physiology.